One, two, three. three go. All right. And <laughs> this is going to be an interesting interview. Yep. All right, Clifford, tell me, uh, spell, spell your name for me. C L I F F O R D. Last name? S I M M O N S. And the name of your farms? Omega Farms. And where are we today? We're in Williamston, Michigan. I think that, that on an evening like this, uh, to someone that hasn't been out on, on a ranch or a farm like this, the closeness with nature is, is probably what I would say is, is uh, what I would, would like for other people to be able to experience. To be able to, to come out and enjoy seeing cows grazing and be able to to feel like you're one with Mother Earth. Omega Farms was started in the mid-60s by my parents, Steve and Ruth Simmons, and um, they, they started on 500 acres uh, here in, in Williamston, and through the late 60s and early 70s, they acquired the Grand River Stock Farm and Mahogany Farms and grew the farm to over 4,000 acres. And today, uh, we, uh, my, my family and I, are, are working to continue the tradition that, that they uh, established. Well, it's critical today for us as, as ranchers and farmers to be able to create a dialogue that's friendly with um, people that, that are becoming more and more removed from the farm every year I think that it's important to be as good a steward to the wildlife as we are to the cattle and the horses. I, I think that farms work better if there is a, an ecological balance between wildlife and production agriculture. We've got a, a conservation area that, that we uh, have, have developed to, to encourage habitat and we use that ground to bring people into our farm as guests. We've developed 14 water areas on 640 acres that we've taken out of production and put into habitat. A farm like this matters to a state like Michigan because a state like Michigan is historically known as, as in my opinion, uh, uh, an industrial type state but yet there are so many natural resources to, that, that are outside of the urban areas and uh, it's, it makes for good stewardship of the land and, and a way that we can preserve and, and perpetuate a way of life that uh, I think that everybody uh, you know, appreciates. I'm really proud of my sons when they, when they want to come and, and we go to work here at the farm because it makes me remember days when, when I was their age with my father, uh, working in the same buildings, on the same farm, uh, doing the same things. And, and that was really one of the biggest incentives that my wife Jennifer and I had in renovating the farm and bringing the cattle back to Michigan was that we could recreate for our sons uh, some of the same great experiences that I had as a child. What I love the most about what I do is the ability for me to be outside with nature, to be able to set my own schedule, to be able to, to spend time with my family when, uh, when called, and, and to be able to honestly produce a, a, uh, an environment where my sons and, and daughters can, can grow up uh, with the same value systems that I learned as a young man. What do you think? Mm, yeah. Yeah. Mm. How about you? <laughs>